I just want to say you look amazing tonight. Thank you so much. You look so cute, oh, too. You. I love your top. So you play um, Athena in the movie. Walk us through what it was like stepping into the shoes of a goddess. Terrifying. <laughs> um, no, it was it was awesome. She's. You, I think what we really wanted to do, because she is, she is a goddess of war and wisdom, but deep down, you know, she's just a girl, and we really wanted to make sure that was told throughout my portrayal and throughout the whole movie. So, and it was fun to find those little nuances as we kind of went along, and then, I mean, without spoiling anything, but her journey kind of beginning to end, it was just a lot of fun to, to dive into. What's your favorite trait in your character? Other than her hair? Um, the purple hair is probably my favorite, but... I don't know, that's hard too, because even her like her costumes are so good. Our costuming department did such a good job. Our hair and makeup team are incredible. Other than that, I love the fact that she could pretty much annihilate anyone that's right in front of her. That's fun. So what was your reaction when you found out you're going to be playing a goddess? I mean, I was honored, you know. Um, it's always a little scary, especially because it's not just any goddess, it's a goddess that's been loved for many, many years, 30 years I think to be exact. Um, so there's always that sort of pressure that goes along with it, but I love her. I had a lot of fun playing her and I hope other people love her too, as much as I do. So what are you hoping audiences take away when they see her? Oh, I hope they fall in love with her, um, you know, and she has such a big heart and like I hope they hold on to that more than anything because uh, I mean, all of our characters, we're, they're all dealing with these larger than life circumstances. They all make bad decisions, but like at the end of the day, they're just trying to figure it out, which aren't we all just try, trying to figure it out? Yeah. And you mentioned your story journey a little bit. Without giving anything away or spoiling the movie, movie can you see your journey and character moving forward? And perhaps developing in the future? Absolutely. And also, I don't know if you're if you're familiar with Saint Seiya at all in the original anime manga, but we barely scratched the surface on all of the rest of the world of Saint Seiya. So there's a whole lot more to tell. So I would love to do another one because we like barely dived into even what these characters start to get into. So there's a lot more to go. Great. Well, thank you so much and congratulations on the movie. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Yes, take care. Thank you for watching News by Muse. Make sure to watch us on Amazon Fire TV and Roku TV. Thanks for watching.